Hey guys, it's Jeff from Filmora. Thanks again for tuning in to my kitchen. In this episode, we're gonna share with you the value of taking close-up shots and a few tips on how to get them. So right now we're using the macro 100 millimeter lens and we're gonna get amazing close-ups. And we are going to add this bacon to a hot pan and get that sizzling. We're gonna hear the sound, we're gonna smell it. Yeah, let's check it out. Come on. I'm using a T3i to shoot this scene, but what really matters is the lens. If you want to use a lens that will get you as close to the subject as you can, I'm using a 100mm lens for this shot, and just for your reference, here's what it looks like using a wider lens such as this 35mm. Notice that when I use the 35mm, the sides of the clip are wrapped and I'm getting a fisheye effect. Another big tip. You have to use a tripod when shooting with a close-up lens. The more you zoom with your lens, you have a greater risk of getting camera shake. We want nice, smooth footage, so set up your tripod before you start rolling on any close-up shots. So right now we're going to capture some audio and some really good close-ups of this sizzling bacon. So that's one of the reasons why we need a good macro lens. We're using the Canon 100 millimeter and we are going to heat this pan up right now so that I'm going to lay this bacon down and it just pops. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, ready? That's the good sizzle. See that bacon? Thanks guys for watching. I've been loving this bacon. I've been loving bacon bacon with you. And now uh, let's get shaking making videos. I wish I knew how to rhyme. Wow, that's a good point, Jeff. Well, thank you, Jeff. I love that. Yeah, good point. In this episode, we're gonna talk all about close-ups. 